Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laifa. If this is your first time stopping by, you are welcome. So today's video, I'm going to be doing another headband wig, but I'm going to be doing one that I haven't done before, which is a bob, a headband wig in a bob. So this is what it came in, was delivered via FedEx and it came with a wig stand. I guess that's what this is called. Then the hair is from my first wig. The packaging is really cute. Like, do you see? Let me unbox it for you guys to see. It's cute, right? So it comes in this package. It came with a few headbands. And then it came with this purse. Oh, so the purse has some bobby pins. That's cute. Ah, this is cute. It has a tail comb. Then it has a couple of crocodile clips. Then the hair itself came in this bag. So this is the hair straight out of the box. Just gonna go ahead to remove the net. So in case this is your first time seeing a headband wig, as opposed to having a frontal or a closure, it comes with a band in front. And all you have to do is clip it behind you at the back, like so. So the first step to wearing a headband wig is you have to prep your edges. So I'm going to use a black echo styling gel to do my edges. I just put a stocking cap on my head and I'm gonna go into my edges right now and get it all the way together. So how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? How is 2021 looking? I hope it's looking good. Ah, guys. Joe Biden. Is it Biden? Like, I never quite know how to pronounce his name. Is it Biden or Biden? Joe Biden has finally been elected, you guys. That is great news, is it not? I wonder why Trump was actually contesting it. Like, did he actually think he was going to win, though? <laughs> why people not answer him? Are they asking now? They are filming now. Eh, now I wanted to talk, you not talk. Yes. Rubbish. Absolute crap. So, Joe, Joe Biden has finally been inaugurated. They have been sworn in as the president of the United States of America. I don't know what I told you guys this, like, was it two years ago? No, last year, actually. I tried to get a visa to the United States of America, and I was denied. <laughs> I was denied my visa, oh God. It pissed me off, eh, because I was supposed to have a bride in Texas. That's how I lost that job. Just like that. <laughs> that thing was the most annoying experience I've ever had <laughs> of my life. Not the most annoying experience, but it was such a process, and then after everything, they just told me, no, next. Like, I would just, I just walked away, like, I was in shock, like, what just happened? Like, I was still trying to wrap my head around what just happened. Like, I had to get up very early in the morning, went to the office, the immigration office, stood in line, like, the line was long, and the processes were long. I was like, ah, ah, all this to get visa, ah, ah. I waited for how long for it to get to my turn and it finally got to my turn I went inside another queue like the queues in that place eh? after everything like I could barely even hear what the guy was saying so his accent was very thick I could barely hear what he was saying and then in my mind I answered all my questions so well only for the guy to, to just give me a piece of paper and tell me next I don't put paper and so reject it. <laughs> oh my god, he paid me. Eh? I said, I'm not doing this thing again. I'm not going through this process again. Like, there was legit someone in front of me, and he was there with his wife. 
the last time they traveled was to give birth to their child and the reason why they did not give him and, and that was their sixth American visa they were applying for and the reason why they didn't give them the visa was because when they went to give birth to their son the hospital gave them a discount that's why they didn't give them visa it didn't make any sense to me because me I just took my paper and left but he was very insistent on knowing why they rejected this visa and that was the reason why like that makes no sense to me at all so I don't know now that Biden is now the president and they've lifted the ban I feel like I should try <laughs> but at the same time I'm like do I want to go through that process again because it was an emotional roller coaster really so now that I'm done doing my edges, I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on. I never use all these combs that it comes with. It gives me headache. It gives me such a headache. Ooh, girl. Ooh. I always love how Bob looks on me. Like, when I was younger, I always thought Bob's wouldn't suit me. And then I finally tried a Bob like two years ago and since then I've been obsessed with bobs why are you guys just tripping? trippers so I'll just clasp it at the back just like that easy peasy alright so I'm going to go into my hair straight now I already have it on I'm gonna use the comb that I came with to comb my hair. And the texture of this hair is actually yucky. It's a yucky texture. So that's why it's full. Yucky textures are usually more voluminous. Uh, it's fake. Oh my God, they're not ready for me today, man. So I'm going to go through it with my hair straight now. Ooh. You saw that, right? Bola is just here smiling at me like, are you trying to chike me? I don't do girls, babe. Sorry. I don't do girls. I do men, men. Sexy, choppy men. Men that have weight. And when they hug me, <laughs> I don't understand. Am I prude? I like big guys. I don't know. I've always been attracted to big guys. Like even when I was very skinny, I still like guys that were bigger than me. You know how sexy it is when you hug a guy that's big. You just feel so protected and safe. Why is Bola doing like a prude? Are you a virgin? Yeah. Rona, is she a virgin? I'm not. I, uh... I'm so happy right now. I was legit thinking that I would have to straighten it line by line. <laughs> but it's working, you know, just like this. I'm happy about that. Uh -uh. I'm about to... It's about to be one of my everyday weeks, so. But let's stop eyeing me. I'm not giving you this one. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, expect more, babes. What's this damsel? Do you know, it's funny that I've seen this wig on a couple of YouTubers and admired it so much. So when they reached out to me, I was like, like you guys knew that I wanted this wig. Ha, I'm feeling myself, oh, forget it. I must go out this night. I must walk. Eh, why are you tripping, babes? I just turned and saw you tripping like, Fuck. Have you guys been seeing this silhouette challenge that is going around? <laughs> oh my god, I was just saying that men will start doing their own and did not disappoint. <laughs> is he a man who we're looking at just now? <laughs> the first one I saw I was like, oh my god, I knew someone would do this, but I didn't think that people would actually have in mind to. He did it so shamelessly. After they finish attacking women, <laughs> now they are the ones doing it. Ha, it was like I cannot do this side. Please come and help me, be cocoa. 
Tutu. Baby. Tutu. Guys, I've begged more like bullied Tutu to come and help me do the other side. <laughs> you don't want to say hi. Hi. Nessa effect, everybody. Tutu, come down, let them see your face. Means I'm not dressed. <laughs> You are proud. <laughs> the Nessa effect, everybody. Mm. One of my boos, one of my best friends, one of my childhood friends. Like we're just sitting down here chatting about our secondary school days, about how I, I, I was the bloke. I used to look like a guy when I was younger. So they were always putting me to dance as a guy. I would not be saying, why can't I ever dance as a girl? Why are they always putting me to dance like a guy? <laughs> Things that annoy me. Eh? I want to wear sweats. What they call it? Sweatpants. Is it sweatpants? Yeah. Sweat big, big, baggy pants. I want to be holding my imaginary D. I want to be doing. Luda! <laughs> hey, Shoddy. Yeah. Luda! Do you know that song? <laughs> hey, Shoddy, what you want? <laughs> Balance shit! Do you know that song? I know this song. I'll do it. Hey, you. baby, I got the potion. Uh, uh, uh. Or, hmm, lean back. Hey, uh, lean back. Uh, we mind so many songs then, Sha. Can you remember SS1 Shampoo? Yes! <laughs> or, just make it clap. Just make it clap. Hey, there was one Shampoo one. What was that Sean Paul one? Yes! Chicken dance! Yeah, no, temperature! Oh my god, yes, it was temperature! Doom, doom, doom! Temperature! They can't swore because of temperature, there was it. Remember, there was a war because of temperature. I can't remember. Why was there a war? No, different classes, different arms wanted to dance to temperature or something like that. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god! Just give me the keys and, and no, that's not temperature. How this in temperature again? Turn, turn, turn. Where's my phone? There's, there's, there's social media now. Where's temperature? I just remember. Turn. Come on, give me that. Come on, give me that. Uh, and then when the time comes, I wanna be keeping you up. I got the right temperature to shelter you from the stuff. Oh, like I'm gonna uh, 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 turn you on. And girl, I wanna be the best. Uh, you can be the more. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh my God! This seems like a million years ago. Run, I used to bully me. I don't bully. I love bully. I never bully. When I was just, no, when I was always shouting at me. Because she always used to do what is right. She what do you mean by that to do what was right? She would not be coming to tell me what they told her her head is big or she's black. I don't understand. <laughs> eh, you to tell her that. My head was not, but my head, did I not your head was big, okay. but whatever you chose to tell me that day. <laughs> is it whatever I chose? Is it me that chose to tell me? It says I chose to tell. <laughs> so I would tell her to go back and find the person and tell the person that their own head is, see the shape of their own head, that they are also black. And she not want to go. Rona and I were classmates. I, so I don't know. I do not understand why she's so bullying me. Then I will drag her to go and meet the person. How is that bullying? How this thing really hurts, though. Sorry. How is that bullying? Like a swoon. Oh. It actually does look like a hickey. Yeah. Guys, please, it's not a hickey. Oh. I was wearing this necklace in a video that I just finished filming, and the thing was tearing my skin. I don't even know why I wore it. I should have just removed it. I just did not want to end as in I want to continue it. See? Like to wear it the whole of the video. I feel so pretty today, you guys. I must go out today. Must. I always film and I never go anywhere with that makeup. But today, they have to admire this gorgeousness, right? Yeah. 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 Period. Mm -hmm. My baby. Oh, I miss baby. Oh. BB, one of my clients in Abuja. I just love that so much. BB, Khadija, Khadija, no, I pronounce it Bola. Khadija, Khadija, no, Khadija, BB, Aisha. I love house up people, they're so sweet. Do you know when I knew that house up people were sweet? NYSC. I did my NYSC in Oweri, and that was the first time I was mixing with people from Hausa. I think that, that's, that was the point of doing NYC in Nigeria, to get people from different parts of Nigeria to mix. They were so nice to me. Hey, the one particular guy, nothing, you know, not like he liked me or anything, you know, but he was so caring. Ah! 
they used to take such good care of me. That's why I love you. Can you just move in with me and just be styling my hair every day? I legit just finished watching Bridgerton and oh, ah, the Duke. you got something else uh, my goodness so fucking sexy i enjoyed watching bridgerton and oh my god maria's voice like i could tell i could tell she was the one doing the I could tell that she was the narrator like her voice is so unique like ah. anyways i think i'm done with my hair i think this was just me putting this hair on and just seeing you guys. I can't stop looking at myself. Hey, you go, Sandra, you have been. Yeah, I was talking about Bridgerton. Bridgerton was such a good movie. I don't know why people were saying it's overhyped. Me, yeah, I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it. I loved everybody in that movie. I don't know who was my favorite character. Who do you think was my favorite character, Bola? <laughs> Bola, no, no. <laughs> who do you think was my favorite character? Why? Danbury, Lady Danbury. No, that's not my favorite character, but yeah, she's she's up there. Guess again. Daphne. Yes. Jesus, why does me the face like ill? Like, right. run out. Who's the favorite character? Now I knew you say nobody. You're so predictable. <laughs> I liked Daphne and the Duke. I loved their love. I burn for you. I burn. I burned for you, my lord, my my grace, your grace, your grace. Do you know I would actually like to go for a party that that's the vibe. All those ball parties you now wear, uh, uh, what's it called, gata, gloves, and all that. All those. Ah, I would like to go for a party like that. You know what I'm saying? Walking like a queen, like your lady, like a lady, walking like a lady. Why is it like somebody else? <laughs> so yeah this is the hair all done and i'm loving it love i didn't even know this hair was a yaki hair like when i was seeing on other youtubers i didn't even know it was yaki but it's yaki and it looks this good i don't think i've ever tried yaki hair come to think of it so that's why this all surprised me and it took to the hair straightening very well i didn't think it could straighten a yaki hair forgive my ignorance but yeah i didn't think it could straighten yaki so yeah, like I said, this hair is from my first wig. Thank you so much for working with your girl today. I look like all those Bridgerton kind of people. Look, come to think of it. Look now, like a classic girl. Okay, no, let me not say Bridgerton. I look like... What's this lady's name in names? How to get away with mother? All these powerful women. No, I look like, yes, in How to Get Away with Mother. The the lady, the lesbian lady, no, 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 not Michaela, the lesbian lady that was the boss in the company. Oh, I want my lady. I my lady. No, 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 no. What do you mean? I look like this lady in. Kate, what's her name? Oh, my God. Oh, God, this movie. Why can I remember her name? The movie that she was, she was a fixer, and she was dating yeah, the president. What's her name? Scandal. Scandal. Sc is that the name? Yes, it's Scandal. What's her name in the movie? Yeah. Olivia Pope. Yeah, Pope. I'm giving you guys yeah. Olivia Pope. Shh. I'm filming, young woman. I'm giving you guys Olivia Pope vibes. Gabriel Union in what's that movie? That series. Being Mary Jane. Being Mary Jane. Yes. I'm giving you guys being Mary Jane, Olivia Pope vibes with this hair. Tell me you're seeing it. Walk with me. Are you seeing the vision? I look like all those powerful women. Oh, my outfit is not going with the flow, but also not. now we have suits. Suits. Taike. Hi, you have sports <laughs> division. <laughs> yeah. You have, you have, you're not seeing the vision. <laughs> Go back to your village. <laughs> yeah, Olivia Pope signing out. Peace. So, guys, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, I forgot to mention, this outfit is from Wear Echo. Of course, she already called me. Please tell them you are wearing Wear Echo.
stop telling you. <laughs> Bye, guys.